Hola YouTubers and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dini. My name is Andrea and today I'm bringing you a vlog. So this year I turned 30 years old and I decided to throw a big party here in my house in Prague in the Czech Republic and the theme of the party was 20s are back. It was a costume party even though majority of people just came dressed as in the 20s but it was an open costume party and I literally filmed every part of the process and all the organization so I want to share that with you guys. So we bought all the decorations from Amazon, we hired a waiter to help us, we cooked ceviche as a main dish but we also hired some catering company for the past doors or canapes, we set a trivia game with prizes as well as the best costume with prizes and finally I set a cheese board. So you're gonna find all of that in this video and how I did each of every one of those things. We just received this box right here from Amazon and I'm just gonna open it right here for you guys to see. Oh, I'm so excited. I can see some gold. Yay! This is so much fun. Okay, so what do we have here? Cigarette holder. I don't smoke, but I'm not gonna be smoking. But anyways, this is so 20s. I'm so excited for this. So let's just put it here. Oh, here is my headband. Same, I'm so excited for these. At the end, I end up buying a wig because my hair won't do it. But this is what I'm gonna be wearing in my hair. Nice. And, oh, the pearls, the pearls. I used to have so many long pearl necklaces in Caracas. I don't have any here. Whoa, yes, this is so nice. And what do we have here? We have here the gloves. Oh yeah, I decided that I was gonna make my nails for like, the 20s so these gloves are actually like they allow your fingers to be out you're supposed to wear this one in your middle finger like this and it just like comes like this so you just wear them like this and then i can have like 20s manicure on they're so nice i like it and the quality is actually nice i thought they were gonna be like more fakeish so i'm happy about that what's this right here oh these are for Jan of course um this is a costume party but it's a uh, 20s are back of course as you already know um but of course we are going to be dressed as the 20s and everybody else can dress as whatever they want because it's a costumes party and these are the suspenders for Jan I had to buy them in advance because if you don't know my husband is very very tall he's 6'6 six, six or 6'5 I believe 195 so he i had to buy these ones in advance to make sure that they fit and they look very cool these are the tablecloths i bought two of these ones because they're so festive and i think they would do great and wonders for the decoration and look how sparkly they are so it's pretty much just like a fabric to put on top of like the table and the table where the tv is because the tv has to say because i don't have a stereo so i'll be using the tv for that so i have one here and i have the second one here. oh so many pretty things i'm so excited okay let's see what's this oh i know what's this i'm gonna keep the little bag here so these are actually the decorative balloons here we have gold cream and black and i think this is to tie them up ah okay these are like these like little bows i'll show you later how they look like three of them and here are some instructions i guess no, i don't know what it is i'm not sure what's this but i'm just gonna keep it and these are the 30 um, the 30 sign because I'm turning 30 even though it's the 20s are bad and this one is just like letters that read These ones are just letters that read happy birthday and I'm gonna hang them in the entrance And here we have our curtains. Okay, I'm just gonna open one to show you guys 
but it's the same. It's like easy decoration. So it's just like these like plastic curtains, and they're great for decoration. I might use them where the actual curtains are, or I might separate into two environments. And they're just like very long. They're like two meters long. And I'm very excited to use this ones. I think these ones you have to assemble them. So for this party, I bought my costume in Amazon and everything together, like the costume, the thing of the hair, the wig, everything together was only $65. I'm gonna put here into account how much is that. So it was very inexpensive, but taking consideration that I had to buy everything about a month in advance, just to make sure that it will arrive home on time. So this is the dress. I'm wearing socks. I don't have shoes, so probably it was really a bit big, but it doesn't matter. It's a costumes party, so I just pin it here a little bit. Um, so that's the dress I'll be wearing, and this is the wig. I think it's great. The wig. I, mean, I find it very, very cool. And I don't have to do my hair. And then, of course, this, and I'm also going to be wearing the pearls. I have the gloves. We also decided to hire a waiter. So how we did that? It was super simple. I just went online to the Facebook groups, to the expat Facebook groups, and I just posted the gig. You know, I just asked if anybody had any experience in waitressing or if anybody was interested in helping out in a house party that I was throwing. And I had a lot of people replying. I actually had over 12 people want, actually wanting to do the gig. And at the end, we picked this girl that was absolutely amazing. I have no idea how I would have done it without her. And I'm so, 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 so glad for that. So whatever you are, if you wanna find a waiter, one great way to do that is you can do it through Craigslist if you are in US, you can do it through Facebook. And in Facebook, I can guarantee you in the expert groups, that's very easy that you're gonna find a lot of people who wants to do that, as well as the Erasmus groups and as well as the university um, Facebook pages. All these people really want money, they have the time on the weekends, and you know, it's an extra gig that any young person will be like super happy to have. I figured out that the best way to keep all the food and all the drinks cold was to actually, you know, place them outside. But since this party was gonna be so big and we're in Czech Republic where everybody smokes, the balcony was no longer an option. So I came up with the idea of actually taking a room, the spare room or the guest room, and I just close the door, I seal the bottom of the door with like a blanket in the entire day, and I just open the window. So literally that room was the entire day around four degrees Celsius. I'm gonna put, how much is that Fahrenheit? So it was pretty much the huge, like the biggest fridge ever. So if you're gonna throw a party in winter or fall, that might be a great option for you as well. So I started moving things around for the party. I put this clothes rack here because a lot of the friends smoke. Hello, yeah, we are in Czech Republic. A lot of people smoke here. And um, it's gonna be super cold, so they're gonna need their coats. And usually they just leave them here in the sofa and I hate it. So I decided to move the wine fridge from here and put the rack there. I'm gonna show you where I put the wine fridge. So this is literally my spare bedroom and or the guest bedroom um and we decided to put this like a gigantic station for the waiter so we put here the wine fridge we put here the cute it's not the cutie it's the nespresso extra water you know for the coffees teas because there's like some like pregnant ladies are coming and they're not drinking as well here on top of the it's super funny on top of the ironing board um we set just like the glasses and all the mugs and everything um, back there, I'm just putting there some trash and I'm putting the trays and here we have this like, um, well, this is a funny story, but it doesn't matter what we have that, but we are going to set this so we can put things on top. And the idea is that that window is going to get open. So this room is going to be around three degrees. So we can close the door and guarantee that it's like a huge fridge here and we can store all the food here. We bought all the drinks in Macro, and Macro is pretty much like the Czech version of Costco. Okay guys, so we came here to Macro because that's the place that you should go when you're planning a party. We're buying some nice napkins. These ones are in, you cannot really see it in the video, but it's a nice like golden yellow. Then we've got these glasses um, because they're pretty and I don't want to be washing glasses. We also got these like glasses for the champagne because we want be having enough for everybody of the normal glass champagne ones and we are gonna be too many people um we got these ones for the ceviche and 
these cups for the ceviche as well to put it that's gonna be the main course remember we bought a lot of um drinks so we bought here the coca-cola but not the detailed sodas because they always come in six we bought there some champagne more wines and champagne we bought here of course a cake of beer because it's czech republic you always have to have beers in the parties and we got two cases of champagne and that would be it now we're going for the fish and i think that's gonna be it for the macro part <laughs> decided to do a trivia during the party and we use this web page here to do the trivia I'm not sponsored by them at all it was just like very easy and very fun and everybody engaged and and at the end the group that when they had candy so it was pretty fun <laughs> we're gonna have a trivia in the party that is just gonna be like funny things about me or whatever and the winning team is just gonna be able to pick a number and all the numbers are related to american candies just because you know they're interesting here in check um then we're gonna have the best contest um the best um uh, costumes everybody's gonna vote for that and here we have these um epsom salt bath salts for the girl and we have some salami for the man winner so it's gonna be two prizes uh you know everybody has to vote for two a girl and a boy and that's it i'm very excited to have like some activities in the party today i'm very glad that my house is small because it literally looks amazing with everything that i bought we haven't done we're not done yet but you know i just want to give you a glimpse of everything yay so i am really really happy with those things that hang because i think they give the house like complete like next level decoration and of course we're getting rid of all the plants and everything so we can have more space here and i blew up my zero but i'm like very happy because it didn't like deflate it completely so i just like tape it and i'm hoping it won't deflate young decided to make a ceviche as a main dish so we already did ceviche ceviche before so i'm not gonna put the exact recipe here but you guys can check that out at the end of this video and I'm also going to leave a link for you in the description with the entire recipe of the ceviche. So we're here now making the ceviche. The decoration is almost ready. So the ceviche is pretty much the last part of this entire process because here it is before mixing it, before the, the lemon. And it's especially um, important to do it at last because you don't want it to be in the, in the, la, in the lemon for like that's called lime i think in the lime for like 10 hours so you try to do it at the end so it actually has time to like cook inside the lime but not enough time to become like gooey inside the lime so we have here the fish the onion and the ahi and now jan is actually cutting the limes first of all you actually kind of squeeze them with the hand he already did that uh, just like that exactly and then after you squeeze them with a the hand, you have to cut them with a knife in order to get the most juice out of them. And then, of course, we have that tool over there that I'm going to show you exactly how it works. If you can buy this one, buy it. If you're in Czech Republic, they sell it in Macro, actually. As well, we ordered some catering canapes. The catering just came. We have here, first we have um, tatar with quail egg. Then this one is a blue cheese mousse with walnuts those are the and, and i write there the order that i want to pass them this one is uh, dog liver mousse with orange and finally we have here right after the ceviche we have like this chicken masala with yogurt sauce all those um are the past the hours I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that just like the canapes that we have for the party and of course i set a cheese board i love having cheese boards in my parties it really really helps um you know nobody nobody needs to chase after the waiter if they didn't get like a canapé or if they didn't like the main dish that we serve you always have the cheese board and i think i'm pretty good at making them so i'm gonna show you step by step how i do it what cheeses i bring remember that you always have to have your hard 
cheeses like parmesan cheese gruyere and you always have to have your soft cheeses cheeses like the camembert president and these soft versions so i'm just gonna show you guys how i did it and i think everybody was pretty impressed with that cheese table so okay so i'm gonna lay down the cheeses and i wanted to show you guys more or less what i am gonna do okay so we bought several cheeses i'm gonna show you everything we bought we have it here this president we have two type of hummus, this one that is spicy and this one that is normal. We have here two caviars, remember that in Czech Republic caviar is not expensive. Like breeze, breeze cheese spread, two of them. Um, we also get some blue cheese, parmesan cheese, I think this one is not parmesan, it's grana padamo, but it's very important to always have a parmesan style cheese. We also have gruyere, that's it for the cheeses. And we have one fuet from Barcelona, because I really enjoy sweat. We have this one here. This is like a type of prosciutto type of thing, but um, this one should be smoked. Then we have two thingies of these ones, because these ones are great for grabbing. And we have as well, this one we call them ladies, they're breadsticks, we call them señoritas in Spanish. We are gonna have that. Uh, and we also have this Gouda cheese as well. And finally, you can see here the bread tray that Jan already cut it in place, so pretty. As well for fruits, we have grapes and uh, pears. So let's start placing the cheeses. So let's start here with our president. I like to place the cheeses a bit before the party because cold cheese is actually kind of tasteless. So, it's better to do it before. So yeah, I'm gonna put the entire cheese. I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna show what I'm gonna do with it. that the party just started and it was amazing it lasted until i believe 5 p.m or at least the last friends were standing until 5 p.m so it was great i'm looking at the world through all colored glasses everything is lonely now <laughs> happy birthday happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So as you can see guys, this is the very next day, the house is fully clean. We've been cleaning this morning for about, I would say like two hours, just trashing all the decoration and everything. And of course we had someone, to, someone coming to help us out. You know, there's no shame on 
asking for help and like hiring somebody to help you out all the opposite uh you know there's a lot of people that need the job and once in a while you also need the help so no shame in that and now we have so many flowers to like put all over the house and i'm so happy and so glad and the party was amazing it lasted so long we finished at 5 a.m so it was literally a win so that was it guys i hope you really really liked the video and you enjoyed it remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i do videos like this every tuesday and every fridays i do what's for dinners and recipes my channel is pretty much based in the czech republic but everything is in english we used to live in us so i have everything connected still with like dollars and everything so i'm like very inclusive in everything i share here but it's yeah it's about like our life in the czech republic and different things that we do here and the what's for dinners are pretty much for anyone who wants to watch so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and that's it let me know if you have any specific video that you would like to see about czech republic or about our life here or if you have any recipe that you want me to try in the what's for dinners on fridays so that's it hope you have a great day bye